found their name, it will take me to their Twitter homepage. I can click on the time of that particular tweet, and it will take me to that tweet. And of course, I can send a tweet from here just as I do uh, from my Twitter page. So in essence, we've just created a portlet within the OpenScape web client so that you don't have to manage two user interfaces. And the last point that I want to make here before we really start the demo is the fact that if you look at the URL, this is really running in the Amazon cloud. Now, I was kind of disappointed. I wanted to say the word Amazon in there somewhere, but Paul assured me that the actual URL is about three feet long, so I settled for uh, the short version. All right, so now let's go over to my Twitter homepage. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start out with a little bit of a caveat. We've been practicing the demo all morning, and if any of you are Twitter users, uh, you've probably run into the fail well a couple of times. So we've been monitoring it backstage during Mark's speech, and so far things look okay, so let's hold our breath that the Twitter application holds up during this demo. Now, my team and I have benefited greatly from the integration of Twitter into OpenScape. We have a number of, of very important customers here this week, and we've been tracking their comings and goings, making sure that their logistics and their hotel accommodations and that the briefings are all set up. So we've been using this Twitter page to our advantage just to keep each other um, apprised of what's going on. In fact, the other night, if you look at this Twitter, Paul sent me a, a tweet late um, Monday night saying that he had just landed in San Francisco. One of the features that we'll release in the first quarter when we productize this integration is um, the fact that if you use a key phrase, just landed, it will change your profile in OpenScape. Paul is from the UK. So it's significant when he lands in San Francisco that the time zone that he's now operating in is very different than if he was in the UK. So if somebody looks at Paul as, as a contact in OpenScape, they will see that he's now in, in San Francisco. In fact, we have another small integration with Google Maps where it looks at the word San Francisco. It says that's Pacific Coast time, not uh, GMT, and makes that change to his profile. And that will also change his availability and the rules around his devices. So that's a very significant tweet that um, Paul sent to me. So I'm going to, um, I just need to send a, a tweet here real quick. Uh, I'm having lunch with the customers at Coletto's, and his keyboard is different than mine, near Union Square. I'm going to send that out to my team because I want them to know that I have my customers with me, um, and they're going to be taken care of. Now, what... The, the point of the integration is to create a list of trigger phrases, contextual triggers that will cause OpenScape to automatically change some of the basic services in that application. So the phrase that I have, and I have a list of phrases that I have created. The, the key contextual phrase here is having lunch. And that corresponds then to the automation of two significant tasks within OpenScape. The first will change my availability to be right back. And correspondingly, it will change my preferred device to voicemail. This makes sure that I will be undisturbed and that my customers and I can have a nice quiet lunch together. So again, this is a list that you establish as a user with the contextual triggers that you want to use within your tweets that cause the automation of certain tasks uh, in OpenScape. And it's interesting, we had a briefing with this customer yesterday and introduced this idea to them that they could actually use Twitter or a similar social networking application and really automate some of their, their enterprise business processes. And it's something that really hasn't occurred to them, and I think it really got them thinking about the possibilities of what we're doing. So, assuming Twitter is alive and well, look at that. It changed my status from available to be right back and it changed my preferred device to <laughs> voicemail. So, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna change for the purpose of the rest of the demo, I'm gonna change my status back to available. You'll notice that it, my preferred device changed back to my cell phone. 